covenant after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. That's right. You got many preacher preacher today and the preacher for money. That's right. Amen. That's right. You got to pay it up. They, they, they were looking at this off again and said, look, that, I'm taking a dime of that down, no. Yeah. Somebody ain't paying their tithes. you got to pay your tithe. I mean, a cliff will say, he'll shoot him. I'll just shoot you. Yeah, you meant to say that? That's right. I'll, I'll shoot you. He's going to shoot somebody. There's another one there. Going around talking about, yeah, I have plenty of them. I said it before, I'm going to reverse it. I just bought a dog for fifty thousand dollars. Bought a dog for fifty thousand dollars. And uh, I forget what his name is. He called the dog. And his dog is protect his wife. My wife. I got me something to protect my wife. I saw in an article that this man they have a dog that can uh, will protect you. Dog care. He he protect. So I went. I had the money behind. So I went for it. $15,000 dog. Mm -hmm. What are you looking at me? Mm -hmm. Yes, I paid $15 for him. That's how you look at the people. I'm telling you, so this guy, so guy works. Mm -hmm. $15,000 for a dog. So that dog know three languages. Now, he don't speak but one language. What do you mean, what do you mean dog for? <laughs> the dog know three languages. He know when that front door bell rang, he know that, that front door. The back one, he knows the back. You can come in your morning, but you would first thing you'll meet over. That's bad dog. You can come in your morning, the first thing you'll meet is over. <laughs> Otherwise, you come in here, I'll tear you up. <laughs> hey, Amen. Preacher, pulpit temps. They got a lot of money. People just give it to them. Pull the camps. People love it when you just treat them all kind of way, talk to them all kind of way, curse them out. That's right. Use curse words like I hear that this man down here, uh, over there on their uh, Skank Avenue. There's other young blood. There's other one that use curse words. Start cursing, cursing for the people. And you got to keep out there saying, Amen. That's what I, that's what I do too. Because he curses too. Amen. 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 Curse. Read. Reading from 1 Timothy, the 6th chapter, we're now at verse 11. But thou, O man of God, flee these things. Flee these things. And follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. See what God, see what God, the way God wants us to go? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Let's look over here at the 10th chapter of uh, Acts. Matter of fact, put it in the 11th chapter of Acts. Of Acts. You see, Peter, Cornelius, he was a centurion of the Italian man. He was a man that prayed, always prayed. And he gave much alms to the church, the people of God. To his prayer come up as a reward. God said, time for me to save him now. I'm going to give him the Holy Ghost. Cornelius was a, a, a Gentile. He wasn't a Jew. So he knew Peter had to go to St. Peter. So what he did, he let a giant sheep came down and help him. Knitted at the four corners, you read the 10th chapter of the Acts. And on that, on that sheep was all manner, all other all, all manner, mean all kinds of full fed beasts. Creeping things. All was on that sheep. Told Peter to kill and eat. But, uh, Peter said, Not so, Lord, I've never taken anything in my mouth uncommon. He said, What I have planned, that called up the common. And this was did three times, and it was taken up. And at that time, the men with that Cornelius had sent was at the door knocking. And told Cornelius that he had uh, and told on Peter that Cornelius had sent them there for him. So Peter went, Peter understood what the, what the vision that he saw on the roof. 
that was showing that God was God was in this year. Showing that he should go. And Peter went there, and I mean Peter preached to them the apostle doctrine. And the Holy Ghost fell. And they all were filled with the Holy Ghost. And Peter had other brothers with him for witness. How God do things. And Peter said, Can any man forbid water that they should be baptized that was filled with the Holy Ghost as well as we? And they baptized all the brothers. Then Cornelius desired for Peter to stay with them. Peter knew it was a law for a man that broke a Jew to go into the brother house, or the Gentile house. So Peter stayed in there and he ate. And he ate. If God had to show that Peter wasn't eating no food from the Gentile, Gentiles, just like a brother like me, are going to have some pork. Amen. 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 They have some pork up there. You really look forward to some kind of look out for certain meat. All meats you will eat. If you like it, we eat all meat. All. Oh, eat his nose too. No, not it. Yeah, his nose. Hey, I know somebody eat his brains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People eat the whole brains. They don't they like it. Take the brain and I make them kind of happy. My father liked the brain. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, jump for it. You eat the brains or eat the balls too. Amen. Oh, yeah, you found me, so Amen. Amen. Because I call myself, I, you, know, you always want to try to follow how you follow. Think you up on the table, then you got to pop ball. I mean, you got to pop ball. And then you up on the table. I said, Dad always did this thing. We don't get nothing about that. I he never let us have, he did not taste. So it was on the, it was on the um, table there. She had, she, she, she had a flour and fry, and fry it down. So I eased up over there. All the little nose as well. Took me a little knife and cut me a piece. Throw it in my mouth. That's one of the most, I hugged my wallet. That's one of the most piece of meat you could eat. Mm. I can swallow it. Mm. Bit of truth, huh? Bit of truth. Mm. The very musty life. Mm. And my father ain't your. Mm. Something wrong there, man. <laughs> All right. Mm. Read, read, brother. Love and shout. We're reading from Acts, the 11th chapter, beginning with verse 1. Uh huh. And the apostles and brethren that were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of oh, God. That's right. And when Peter was come up to Jerusalem, they that were of the circumcision contended with him. Contended with him. Oh, I give him all the man. You done the wrong thing. What is, what's going on with you? Read, bro. Read, bro. Saying, Thou wentest into men uncircumcised. You went into that house of men uncircumcised. You ain't supposed to do that. And didst eat with Not them. Not that you went in there and you eat too. I hear that you eat. You know, Peter stayed on a couple of days. That's right. Amen. Read. Verse 4. But Peter rehearsed the matter from the beginning and expounded it by order unto them, uh -huh. saying, I was in the city of Joppa, yeah. praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. Yeah. A certain vessel descend, as it had been a great chief. A great chief. Let down from heaven. By four corners, and it came even to me. That's what you tell all these Jewish brothers there now. That comes, it comes there to, uh, although I give him an argument for what he did, that he did a wrong thing. He told him now who, who told him to go there. Read. We're reading from Acts 11, chapter, verse 6. Upon the which, when I had fastened my eyes, I considered and saw four footed beasts of the earth, uh -huh. and wild beasts and creeping things, and fowls of the air. Amen. Verse 7. And I heard a voice saying unto me, Arise, Peter, slay and eat. This is the same thing I just said, but I put it, read the scripture now. Read. Verse 8. But I said, Not so, Lord, for nothing common or unclean hath at any time entered into my mouth. And Peter, Peter was under the law. And the Lord was supposed to eat that. He was supposed to eat no pork, shrimps, anything like that. He was supposed to eat it. That's the law. Read. Reading from Acts, the 11th chapter, where verse 9. 
But the voice answered me again from heaven. What God hath cleansed, that call not thou come. That call not thou come. God hath cleansed. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to start. I'm going to start a new thing. Mm -hmm. right. See, God does not have to respect the person. Yeah. He says, no, I'm taking the stranger. I'm taking the Gentile in too. See, the Gentiles consider not even people. Yeah. Are you listening? Yes, sir. That's right. Read. And this was done three times. Three times. And all were drawn up again into heaven. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. And behold, immediately there were three men already come unto the house where I was, sent from Caesarea unto me. 